Hare Krishna. Say, Naudi Prabhu, to speak something. Why I have come and where I am coming. First of all, after my Dhanavar Pranam and to my Gurudev Shishimab of the Granta Narayan Maharaj and also to all the assembled Vaishnavas and guests. So, I've known Shulan Narayan Maharaj for six years now, from the time that I first went to Vrindavan. And during the whole time that I've known him, I never imagined that he would come to the West. And neither did he ever give any indication that he would do such a thing. Uh, because he is so deeply immersed in the mood of Braj, and the residents of Braj, and uh, there he is daily giving Harikata, speaking on the glories of uh, the love of Shishi Radha and Krishna, and all of the local devotees and residents there, they are very, very much attached to his association, and it is very difficult for them to tolerate, even when he goes out of Braj for a short time, to go to Navadvip Dham or Jagannath Puri. So it was unimaginable to them or to me or practically to anyone uh, who knows Srila Narayan Maharaj that he would leave and come to the West. And uh, certainly there was no desire on his part that he would come here uh, for any personal motive. But rather, it is the, uh, the indication has come from his Ishtadev, his worshipable deity, Shimati Radhika, and also Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as well as the order of his Gurudev, Sri Shimad Bhakti Pragyan Keshwa Goswami Maharaj, and his Shiksha Guru. Shishimad Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, that he should come to the West. And he has come solely to fulfill the mission which was taken up by uh, Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, uh, which is the same mission which was given to him by his Gurudev, Srila uh, <clears throat> Bhakti Siddhanta Sarvati Thakur. And also the same mission of all our Acharyas, Srila Gorkishar Das Babaji Maharaj, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, going back to Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So it is on the order of all of our Acharyas in disciplic succession, and in particular, the order of his Gurudev and uh, Srila Swami Maharaj Prabhupada that he has now come to the West at this time to fulfill the very mission which they dedicated their lives towards. And it is significant also that he has come in this year, which is the centennial year of Srila Prabhupada. Just as Srila Prabhupada was fully surrendered to carrying out the order which was given to him by his Gurudev, and yet he had no idea exactly how that would transpire. And yet the Lord made all arrangements and he came uh, just at a particular time and to a particular place where he would have the most success. He came to New York in 1965 and the field was very ripe for him to distribute Krishna consciousness to the whole world. But he did not plan this by his own intelligence, all arrangements were made by his worshipful deities, Shishi Radha Krishna and his Gurudev. 
for him to come at that particular time. So similarly, although Srila Narayan was not planning to come here, all arrangements were made by Srila Prabhupada for him to come, especially at this time, to fulfill his mission. So the significance is, is that Srila uh, Prabhupada wanted all of his followers whom he gave the seed of Krishna consciousness to, to actually attain the real essence of what he came to give. And perhaps if Srila Narayan Maharaj had come at another time, the field would not have been so ripe. But now it has been some 20 years after Srila Prabhupada's departure. And the Bodhis have matured in their Krishna consciousness. They have been starving for so many years. They've seen so many uh, setbacks and anomalies that have taken place within the movement for Krishna consciousness. They have been uh, suppressed in so many ways and discouraged from thinking for themselves. But now, they have experienced all these things and they can judge for themselves what is uh, what is something very valuable? What is inspiring for their Krishna consciousness? So, uh, our Gurudev, Shishimad Bhakti Vinantan Narayan has come at this time. And I have witnessed on this tour the transformation that has taken place in so many devotees' lives. How they have become renewed and re-inspired in their Krishna consciousness how they have felt through his association, the association of Swami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, uh, how their enthusiasm for advancing in Krishna consciousness has become awakened simply by uh, meeting him and hearing from him Harikata. Uh, so, <clears throat> the real mission for which Srila Prabhupada worked so hard for so many years is to give the, the essence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teachings, of the teachings of Rupa Goswami. And that is Ragmai Bhakti, which is leading to Vraj. And that type of Bhakti has to be awakened uh, in the association of persons who are tasting that within their hearts. The symptoms of Rakmai Bhakti are described in Srila Rupa Goswami's Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. So there it is said, Pragatmi Kaika Nishta Ye Brajavasi Janadishu Tesham Bhava Paya Lubdu Bhagat Atradi Karavan. That the qualification for obtaining that type of bhakti, which is the eternal condition, which is naturally situated in the hearts of the Lord's eternal associates, the ragatmika bhaktas of the Lord. The qualification for pursuing that type of bhakti, tesham bhav apayilubdo, is greed to obtain that. And what are the symptoms of that greed? Tattva bhavat adhima bhajishruti the symptoms of that greed are that when one hears of these sweet moods and loving devotion of the residents of Raj, either from the books of the Goswamis or by the person who is describing uh, such moods, when one uh, intelligence becomes captivated by that and no longer dependent on the reasonings or logical arguments of Shastra. No. That is the, the symptom of the awakening of such greed. So in my own experience of trying to practice Krishna consciousness, although I had studied and read many times Chaitanya Charitamrit, where these things are described, and also nectar devotion, 
Uh, although some little inspiration would be there, but I never directly experienced that my consciousness became possessed of a very intense desire to strive for that in my spiritual life. Rather, I, I could understand that the motivation or the impetus for my uh, attempt to practice bhakti was the Shastra. The Shastra is saying, you should do this. If you don't do this, you will be degraded. If you do this, you will obtain a favorable result. So, on the basis of Shastra, I was convinced that I should perform bhakti. That is called Vaidhi Bhakti. But I never experienced that the motivation or impetus for my engagement in bhakti was an intense greed to obtain that same type of devotion which is possessed by the Lord's eternal associates. And yet that is the very thing which Mahaprabhu came to give us. But until I came in contact with Srila Narayan Maharaj, this understanding never came to me. So my practical realization, and not only practical realization, but it is also the uh, statement of the Shastra, Shrimad Bhagavadataranam Aswado Parasikai Saha Sajatya Shayes Nigde Sadao Sangha Swatovare That we should hear Shrimad Bhagavatam, uh, not only hear but taste the meaning. Artha Aswa means to taste the meaning. And Rasikai Saha means with the help or with the assistance of Rasik Bhaktas. This is Rupa Goswami's statement. So if we want to enter into Srimad Bhagavatam, we must hear under the direction, under the guidance of a person who is personally realized and tasting the meaning, and then it can be revealed to us. And Sajati Asharisnik De Sadhau Sangaswatovare. We must associate with sadhus who are more advanced, who are soft hearted, and who are like-minded. So, this is the statement of the Shastra and it is my personal realization in my own spiritual life that without this type of association, this kind of understanding or the, the inspiration to hanker for that type of bhakti, in other words, the bhakti which is possessed by the residents of Raj, it never uh, awoken, it was never awoken in my heart. And by the guidance of Srila Narayan Maharaj, by continuously hearing his sweet Harikata, and also by his personal example, seeing how he deals uh, with everyone, he, he is capable of inspiring everyone for this type of bhakti. So certainly he has come on the order of Srila Prabhupada in order to fulfill his mission. And he is uh, appealing to everyone on a very individual and personal level uh, to uh, help them to advance in Krishna consciousness, to help them aspire for this goal. So we, we urge all of you to simply hear with an open heart and to be uh, receptive to this message. And if you do so, you will receive great inspiration for your advancement in Krishna consciousness. Gauna Primanandhasya Gyanam Jana Shalakaya Shatsuruna Mihitam Jina Tashmai Sri Gurave Nam Manchakalpatarubhasya Vipasindhu Bhaivacha Patitanam Pamanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namo Mahabadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayati Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Nam Gauratishe Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namaste 
तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे बिंदा बनेश्वरी विश्वान श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे राम राम Obeisances in the lotus feet of my divine grace. Nitya Vidya Pravistam Vishnu Bhag. Krishna Bhakti Pragyan Kesho Prashwami Maharaj. And my Shikshya Guru. Nitya Vidya Pravistam Vishnu Bhag. Krishna Bhakti Vedans Swami Maharaj. How I came to Western country, Sri Naudipa, Naudip Prabhu has told so I don't want to revise again, but I want to tell you that I was penny last Penniless like Swamiji, when he came to Western countries, he came with a karpal and his Bhagavad Gita and Shrimad Bhagavatam, some parts. And in a very short time he has preached our Vedic culture and Vedic knowledge especially Gita and Bhagavatam in the whole world, established so many temples, writing so many books in about 40 languages of the whole world. He has ordered me to come when he was coming first in Western countries. But at that time I was serving my Guru Dev, so could not come. But anyhow he has managed to come here. First of all, I want to tell that I don't know English so much. My English is very poor and so lame. But in Hindi, Bengali and all other Indian languages, I can speak freely, expressing my whole modes in them. When I came here, then I learned something to speak. Otherwise, I, in India, I could not try to speak in English. So, I think that it will be very poor, but yet I am trying to speak in English because I am seeing that all the audience here know English and especially they are Western countries people. Very little Indian people. So, especially I went to I came to Western country to take the feet dust of Swamiji, where he came first and after Los Angeles, Houston. He has come also in San Francisco, 
He also lost in the Mill War in London, Manor, and so many places in Australia and so many places. So I thought that if he is managing to come to Western countries, I should take the fish dust because where he has gone, all the places have become so much tirtha, sacred places. I know that the places we are called sacred, they are not sacred if there are no Vaishnava. So, Vrindavan is so sacred, but if there are no any bona fide rashi, and bhav bhagavat, bhav, then it is not so powerful. So when the feet of dust of any bona fide Vaishnava and have, having so much powerful energy from his holy master and Radha Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, certainly this is a very sacred place. So first my mission was to take the fifth test of Swamiji and to realize how, how in a very little time he spread all these missions everywhere. What is Ved? What is Gita? What are the Upanishads? And what are the essence of all these things? In a very, very Simple words, not philosophical so words, very simple words. We know that Srimad Bhagavatam is the essence of all the Vedas, Quran, Upanishad, Smriti, Sruti, Gita, and Nigamakal Patarur Galitana Phalam Sukamukhad Amritravasan Yudam. Vivat Bhagavatam Rasham Alayam Moraho Rasika Bhubi Bhavka. The third or fourth shloka, third shloka perhaps. Very important shloka. He has told me. You should know that. Parikhit Marvaz was a very learned king, emperor. He was so powerful, he was so learned. You can know the glorification by this, that Krishna has taken him in his laps and he has sacked Parikhit Marvaz in the womb of his mother and always protected. Sukhdev Goswami and Vyas had no so fortunate that Krishna can take them in his lap. So he was not less than Sukhdev Goswami or Vyas or Narada. I think he was so much fortunate than them also because he was very fast, dear and dear relation to Krishna. So, <coughs> one day he went out for hunting or anywhere he was going and he became so thirsty. He came to a rishi and told that I want to take water. I am so thirsty. He was in Samadhi, you know Samadhi, but he is here. But mind and heart were with the lotus feet of Krishna, not here. So he could not know that who he has come and what he is telling. So he could not give water. And they came, become angry that I have come to his thought, heart. And he is not uh, welcoming me 
and not give him cotton. How he is the sage? Like in these days. So, he took a serpent and gave him his neck three times. And he went away. In the meantime, his son, only the age of five, he heard that anyone has given serpent is his neck. Though it was dead, dead, dead serpent, he saw that and he became angry. Who had done this? Now the wealthy person, those who are Kshatriyas, they think to be emperor of the whole world and controller. Now they are forget Sanatana Dharma. They are thinking that we are monarch of all, we are controller. But they don't know that they are the dogs saving the kitchen of Thakurji. They should think this, that we are dogs to save. But now they, are at the, they have become master. So I gave a lesson to him. And saying so, naked boy of five years. And he took some water and cursed him. After seven days, seventh day, the serpent will come and fight him. Anyone cannot save you. And he began to weep, sitting in the laps of his father. After some time, the father awoke from Samadhi. Oh, why you are crying and weeping? Oh, father, see, anyone has given this dead serpent in your neck? Why you cursed him? He asked his boy. You are not Brahmin. Brahmin should be tolerate. Tolerate. They have this quality that they have to tolerate. But you have no patience to tolerate. You are not Kshatriya. You are not Brahmin. But you are a son of Brahmin. You have done so wrong, so wrong. He repeated him. And then he called it as to them and told him to go to Parikshit Maharaj and tell that on seventh day a serpent will come and he will die. He will bite you and you must die. Anyone cannot save you. When he heard this, he became so happy. And instead of becoming, oh, this is a, oh, this is not a cause, but thirst. But it is benediction, Krishna has come apparently to me. Because now I have realized that we should do bhajan and try to realize that who am I? Why I have come to this world? All wealth of this Vishwa world cannot satisfy me. It cannot give me happiness. To anyone, you will have to leave this world in day or today. We should know that this body is not my soul. My soul is eternal, part and parcels of Krishna. If anyone thinks this world and not realize anything, all the things, then he is like an animal, more than animals. So I wanted to do bhajan, to practice bhakti, but I was saying that, oh, from tomorrow I will do, again tomorrow, again tomorrow I will begin bhakti. But I never did it. Now I have to give up everything 
my father, mother, wife, children, and kingdoms, and every wealth and and he put up his crown and royal dresses and he sat down on the bank of sacred Ganges. In the meantime, in a moment, so many rishis like Vyas, Narad, Kabi Habi, Naujagandra, Gautam Vashishta, all happens came from different parts of the whole world. He did pranam to all. At that time was no wireless or anything. Nothing there was. But how they came? No use of aeroplane or anything. They could have, they can go to this world, that world, heaven, more than that. They can go to Vaikunj, Golok, Vrindavan, everywhere they can go. So at once they collected there. Shila, Pachit Maharaj, very Honorably, he requested to answer two questions. The, the persons who are dying at once, in a moment, they are lying down for dead. What they should do? And the persons who are not dying, but they will die tomorrow or day after tomorrow, or in hundred years, or 500 years. They must die. Even Brahma will have to die. But to tell of all these persons. So I want to know what they should do. So oh, two prominent questions. A person who is dying just now, what he should do? And the persons who will die those who have taken birth, they must die. Jatasvahi dhruva mṛtu dhruvam janma mṛtasya gītā bhāgavat ved upanishad all tell like this. Anyone can understand. In the meantime, all were telling that you should do samādhi, you should do dhyān, meditation, you should give charity. You should do this and that. In the meantime, Sukhdev Goswami came there. He was quite naked, aged about 16. And he was very happy. Some women clapping seeing this mad person. They thought that he is a mad person and clapping. Some joking and boys, so many boys, they are pursuing him and taking the dust of up and they take like this. But when he came nearer, Prakshit Maharaj and all the members of this Rishis, they stood up and they welcomed him. And they took him to the Dibhyasa Asana. And he apologized and then requested to answer the two questions. Then he told the person who died just now. Then he should take. Krishna now, Ram now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram. If he cannot chant more, oh Krishna, Radhe Radhe. If he cannot more, 
then he can feel Aram, Aram. If a man is going to stool, minute minutes stools, passing loose motion and all other things. He is not sacred at that time, he has not taken bath, nothing. Only one Ram Nam will do, Narayana, like Ajamil. At once, he will be set from the at once. And he can have salvation, more than that he can have. Why couldn't he? And if his, his mode is to Ram, Aradha Raman Ram, Aradha Raman Hari Govinda Jai Jai. So Ram, denotes Aradharam also. So if the Hari mood is that, then we will go to Vrindavan. A Tulsi, leaf of Tulsi, Ganga should be given to them. And he should speak Ram. If he cannot speak, then we can tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. In his ears, and give for one drop of charanam with, with tulsi. If he cannot take tulsi, you can have a tulsi and get here, give here, or keep here. It will do. Magically it will do. Like Balmiki, like Ajamin, like so many persons. It is so powerful. You know that Perhaps you don't know that where Ram Nam is chanting anyone, then Hanuman will come, surely Hanuman. He has lakhs and lakhs mouths, he has lakhs and lakhs ears, lakhs and lakhs body like Ram. And when he will tell Harikatha, the pastimes of Ram or Krishna, he will surely come. He may come in a body of very black person, also kushta, leprosy, like leprosy persons, he will come. And he will say it in the last. And presently he are all these things. Once Narada, while going anywhere, and he saw that a while maker, Teji, always doing uh, oil, doing uh, making oil. He had no time to to chant Ramna. Not all that you you will have to go in hell. Why you are not chanting Ram? He told, I have no time at all. When you go to stall, what you do? Nothing. At that time you can do. They just, from today I will do this. And he went to stall in the jungle and he began to do Ram, Ram, Ram. At once Hanuman came. And he saw that he is not sacred, he has not taken bath, and going to his store and taking harina. So, so he kicks very powerfully. But he was telling Ram Ram as if none, nothing had been done. When Hanuman used to give a kick to Raman, he used to fall down on the earth, rolling on the earth having taken mouth in his mouth, earth dust. Also to Kumkan, he was made more bigger than Ram. But he used to fall down. But for this person, nothing was done. He was astonished. Why? I have kicked him so powerfully, but he had no response. Thinking he went to the palace of Ram, in Ajutha, and in night he saw that Ram was doing like um, ah, means feeling blank, 
everywhere. He went to Ram and did Ram and told that, Oh Prabhu, why you are doing so? I think there is, must be some pain. He replied, You have done this and you are coming to ask me that how it has come? You have kept me so powerfully, my ears, something broken or not, I cannot say, but I have so much pain. He thought that I have never kept you, never, never, never. Oh, you know that my name and myself is same thing. Krishna and Krishna himself, they are not two, no difference at all. One thing, moreover we can tell that Krishna is more powerful than Krishna himself. Ram Nam is so powerful than Ram himself. Ram has, Ram has liberated only few persons like Sabari and all others. But name is eternal for all. Ram and Krishna cannot do kripa to any wretched person and those who are so much sinful. But name for all it is so sulab, easy. Anyone can do. A sadhu muni can do. Even a third class bogus person who is so much wretched and he is sinful, but yes, he can do Ramana and Krishna. So these are powerful. You know the history that uh, when a bridge was make, going to make to go to Lanka, bridge was going on. And all the monkeys and bears bringing so much very big stones. And Nanli used to tell Hare Ram Ram and to touch and they began to float on the water. Thus the bridge was constructing. When it was in the end it was to be completed. Then Ram thought that all the monkeys gave him this, these stones to Nalli and they are touching and telling Ram Ram and they are floating. I should try and I should examine that what becomes if I touch and fall in this sheet. He went some far away in bushes, 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 and he took a stone and he fell down, throw, throw, in the sea, and it was, and sunk. In the meantime, Hanuman came, oh Prabhu, where you are, what you are doing? He told, that is, why you came this way? I simply came. Hanuman told that, I was seeing that very much. I was searching you here and there. Because the bridge is completed. And we should start for Lanka. Ram told that, I was seeing that you all making the bridge, telling the name of Ra, my name, and keeping in the water, and they are floating, but I took a stone and threw it out, and it sank. Nothing to worry, nothing to worry. Because we are chanting name and touching and they are floating. And if you will take anyone and throw out, you will not accept uh, him, no mercy to them, and you will throw out. Then they will show me. They will get, uh, go down in the water so deep. What is that deep ocean? Endless 
prophecy of birth and death, sorrow and suffering. So that is stone. So the name of Krishna, the name of all the names are of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. All names are of Krishna. So they are so powerful. So he told that at once we should be try to tell that person that you should tell Krishna Krishna Hare Krishna. And if he cannot chant, then we should do in his ear, he should be chanting. He will accept from the death, death and all sufferings and sorrows. So he has told all these things in Balmiki, in, in Ajamil Upakhya. And in the last he has done con conclusion in 12th canto, at the last slow. Etat nirvidyamana nam ichatam akuto bhayam joginam nipanirnitam hare nama nukirtanam. The essence of all the Vedas, Upanishad, is Krishna name. No doubt at all. And if anyone has some time, it is not certainty that he will die tomorrow or day after tomorrow or within one hundred years or after that. Then he should hear Srimad Bhagavatam. He should hear. And he should follow Nautha Bhakti. Like Prahlad Maharaj has told, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Svaranam, Pad, Shivanam, Archanam, Bandhanam, Darsham, Sakha, Manivedanam. We should practice all these things. Krishna comes in the shape of Harikatha past times and it enters in our heart, makes our heart so clear and he sits here. Shravanatana Svakatha Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Hirdyantasto Chapatrani Budhano Suhit Krishna enters in the here, those who are hearing the Harikatha past times of Krishna Ram and he goes in the heart, clears the heart from six vague. Mana vague, krodh vague, jiva vague, udar vague, upastha vague, kaam, krodh, lo, mat, moh, mat, sarj, all kinds of offense, all kinds of anartha, everything. He prompts the heart. And then, He gave, gives inspiration to hear Hari, to hear Hari Katha more, like Parikshit Maharaj. So he has told that Shabai Punsan, Paro Dharma, Jato Bhakti Rathok Chaji, Ahet Tukya, Apratikata, Jatma, Sam Prasita. The religion of all the persons human being and all the living beings is to do bhakti of Krishna, the practice of bhakti. If they are not doing, then they are cutting their heads with their own knives. They are atmadhati. Nidhi hamadyam sulabam sudurlabam plam sukalpam guru karnadar mayanukullam nabhasvate ritam kuman pavadhin na taresa atma. Without any reason, Krishna has given this body human shape. And for this human shape is bona fide, a strong, having two eyes, no rope, nothing, so powerful, intangible. He has given everything, but yet we are not doing Hari Bhajan. Also Krishna has given Sadguru, he has managed. And Anukul Bayu means Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastra. 
लौ मात्र साधु संघ है सर्व सिद्धि है इन मोमेंट इवन इन ए मोमेंट विल गिव इन टू साधु संघ विल क्रॉस ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो ही टेलिंग दैट इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग भजन हैविंग दिस मन दिस ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड द मर्सी ऑफ कृष्ण दैट ही इज मैनेजिंग साधु संघ Like Swami said, we you have not invited him. He came first by his own mercy. He had not come from any penny or farthing and dollars. He had not come for reputations, nothing. Yet he came by his. divine love divine master's order and inspiration from krishna himself so krishna manages everything we cannot manage anything so having all these things and we are not sincerely practicing bhakti yoga then we are like self killer so निगम कल्पतरूर्कलित फल सुखमुखाद अमृत दर्शनयुत पिवत भागवत रसमाल मुहूर्हौ रसिका भूभा यु नो दूवाज सुखदेव गोस्वामी हि वाज दि पैरट ऑफ श्रीमती राधिका स्पेशल पैरट सी यूज टू टेल that parrot that you should tell krishna krishna was so beautiful that parrot he used to tell krishna krishna in the same tune like shrimati radhika in melodious tone krishna krishna she used to Love that parrot, taking hand, her hand, and he used to do like this, and giving him do the un 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 or do rice and milk with sugar or common uh, grapes seeds. Very beautiful and tasteful. He used to be. One day, he fly away from her hand and went very near from Barsana to Nandgaon. Only one two miles difference. Not, I think that only two fingers. I think that not two fingers. In a line. Here is Barsana. Here is. Borders were in Shakhi. Have you been? You can known all these things. So he fly away and came to Nandgaon and sat on the tree, Tamal tree. Tamal trees color and the pilot call like shame, and he began to chant. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Krishna was playing with Madhusudan, Madhumangal there, and he heard the voice of Sri Mati Radha. Oh, where are they going? And she is calling Krishna, Krishna. He sat, look after here and there. He saw that there is a parrot sitting on the tamal tree and calling Krishna. He told her again. You should tell. Again he began. Krishna, Krishna. After that he read a slok. The remaining of the that is slok. Oh, I was sitting on the hands of my beloved master Shivati Radhika, and she was nursing and supporting me. 
and telling me, do Krishna, Krishna. But I am animal, I am bird. So I flew from her and came here. Now I am repenting. Why I came? Living my masters, very loving master. Why I came? I should not have. And he was weeping and weeping. Krishna told, oh, come on, come on, come on. Very sweetly. And he was charmed and came on the hands of Krishna. Oh, again you should tell. What you are telling? Krishna, Krishna. And same thing, repeated. In the meantime, the friends of Srimati Radhika Lalita and Vishasa came and told Krishna that, Krishna, the spirit is of our Swamini Srimati Radhika. At once you should give me a return and without this spirit she may die. So he should. People replied that if it is yours, then call and if he goes, you should take her. They tried to call the parrot, but she never went to that. Srimati Radhika, um, Lalita Vishaka told, any person, any human being, any being, living being, who will go to you, they will come, never return. But if for some he was here, Srimati Radhika was here, then if we, she will call, she will at once go. Krishna was not ready to be and playing with Madhumangal and this. In the same time they went to Jashodama and told that this parrot is of our Srimati Radhika, you should try to give us other was she is so very for Jashoda came at once and he took Krishna in his hand. What you are doing? Always with animals and birds and you are doing so many nonsense things. And he cried hold this ear of Krishna and he took that bird and he took Krishna also and told that, oh, dear Sakis, try to bath Krishna. And they began to bath and she took the bird and gave it to Lalita Vishaka Siddhika. So this bird was not a common bird, ordinary bird or any ordinary person. When Krishna and Srimati Radhika finished his pastimes in world, they began to return. Then they ordered this Supero, Pero, that you will have to leave here because we are all going. So you will have to help the all persons, Krishna Bhakti. And you will have to <coughs> Give Srimad Bhagavatam. You will have to yeah, manifest Srimad Bhagavatam in this world. Anyone cannot do this thing other than. So you must leave. He was so sorry. And worry that how I can live without you? Or oh, yes, you can live. And after doing all this task, you should return to me. So, Krishna and all these pastimes went to Golok Vrindavan in his Aprakat Lila. Even today there is Vrindavan. Krishna never goes for a moment living Vrindavan. But anyone can realize only those who are rushing and liberated persons they can realize all these things. So they were like in a shape of a person. He was in the shape of parrot. He went to Kailash and hearing he was. The same thing Tarakankar and Parvati was hearing. But when second chapter and third chapter, third canto kind of came, and it was only how to, this creation has been done. He slept. 
Then parrot was doing again, again, after this, after this, hum, hum, like this. As Parvati was doing, in the same twin, twin like Parvati. Shankar was seeing that, oh, Parvati is hearing Parvati. She went on going. When he ended Srimad Bhagavatam, Parvati awakened and told, I have not heard all the Bhagavats. You should repeat. Then who heard? Who heard? Who was telling like you? Yes, yes, go on, go on. Who are you? He saw, looked here and there. At last he saw that there is a parrot sitting on the tree and hiding himself there. He took his threshold and he followed him. And he at once flew away and went to the ashram of Badrikasham in the ashram of and there Sukhdeva Goswami came. Vyasa was telling Harikatha and his wife Vitika was hearing the same Harikatha Krishna Srimad Bhagavatam. And he was astonished when Putna came and he wanted to kill Krishna. At first Krishna took her, his soul and also her life, and she became so big. And fell while she began, his shape was there, and crushed everything there. Then, hearing this Vitika has, oh, he opened her mouth, and Sukhdeva Goswami at once went to her home. And he lived for 16 years there, and Vyas was telling all this Katha, Ved, Upanishad, Shastra, everything she heard. Vyas said, although it is too late, you should come out. He said, I will not come in this Maya. What is Maya? What is Maya? He is my son, he is my father, he is my husband, he sees my wife, this wealth is mine, this body is myself, and related to me, everything is mine. And this is yours, this is yours. No relation with Krishna, this is called Maya. Maya, Ma mane no, Ya mane, the thing which is really there. We are only the son of Krishna, part and parcel. Jivari Sarupahimitya Krishna da. But now you are saying that I am lady, I am male, I, we are female, we are king, we are so scientists and all other things. So, this is called Maya. He, he told that I will not come in Maya. Oh, I am taking Maya from this world. For a moment you should come out. I don't trust you. If Krishna will come and tell life, then I will come out. At once he prayed to Krishna and Krishna came and told, Oh, you should come out. I am Krishna. I am taking Maya for a moment. And he at once came down. Krishna disappeared. And he came and at once he left his father, mother and everything and went to forest. At that time, he was persuading him, O oh son, O oh son, Ha Putra, Ha Putra. He told them, Who is Putra? He, the jungle, the forest echo. Who is son? Who is father? This relation of illusory. After some time, Vyas returned and he did Srimad Bhagavatam by the grace of Narada Rishi. And he was searching any person who is qualified for this Srimad Bhagavatam here. He thought that in this whole world only one qualified person is and that is 
Shukadeva Krishna. My son died. How to return him? So he moves. He took his one slow and told to hunters, those who are going to hunt animals. He told that if you will speak this word, chant this mantra, so many sparrows and all birds and animals can you manage to have. And that I spoke was Baraha Pidam Natabara Babu Karnayo Karnikar Dipradabasa Kanaka Kapishambe Jayanti Shaman Randhana Bay Nuradar Sudhaya Purayan Go Pabinde Vindaranam Sabadaramanam Pravishatagi In whole Simat Pagat, even in soul, Veda and Upanishad, the beauty of Krishna is marvelous. None, there are none permanent sloking anywhere. So they go Swami heard and now at once charmed. And he prayed to ask to hunters that go to your Gurudev and ask him how he is yeah, merciful to whom you have described this shape of that person, Krishna. How he is merciful. They went returned in the evening and again they came and they came to Vyasdev and Vyasdev told Aho Bakiyam Stanakalapu Jighan Saya Payata Pasadi Lebhe Gating Dandhatra Vuchitan Hova Annam Saranam Brijim He told that even a Putana, a Rakshasi, a demon who was only to to drink the blood of very little boys and to take the place of all these boys. So she was so a very big demon. And she came to Krishna to eat and to drink the blood of Krishna and to make that. But even Krishna gave him salvation, not only salvation, but the gati of mother, the position of him, like a mother. How he is? So, living Krishna, we should not serve any other. Only Krishna, he is so powerful and he is so merciful, there is none, there are none like Krishna. So this try to do bhajan of Krishna. At once Sukhdeva Goswami attacked to Vyasdev and came and very lovely and affectionately she, she taught Sukhdeva Goswami all Srimad Bhagavata. And now he is speaking about Nigama Kalpatarur Galitanga Phalam Sukamukhad Am Tavrasan Jyotam Pivata Bhagavatam Rasamalayam Uhuraho Rishita Srimad Bhagavat not is a book and also not of this world. She is of Golok Bandhavi, Srimad Bhagavat. It comes from Golok Bandhavan like a fruit of Nigama Kalpata. Nigama means Vraid Upanishad. Suti, Smriti and all our ancient books. You know that the abode of all things coming from all Vedas, Rik Samja Vyupatha and Upanishad. These are our ancient books. But it has been told in Nigama Kalpata or Kalitanga Phalam Srimad Bhagavat is the essence of, fruit of that nigam. If anyone is practicing Vedas, doing Yajna and all other things, reading Upanishad, practicing Upanishad, what is the use of here in Srimad Bhagavatam? We should know this. Why? 
it has been told that there is a tree of mango, mango tree. And very beautiful and sweet the fruit is there. We can taste the very sweet fruit. If we want to test it in the to choosing the root of that tree, we cannot have. Understand what I want to do? Chewing the roots of the tree. Uh, we cannot have that sweetness of fruit. But whole thing is tree. We cannot test that sweetness by chewing and choosing parts of tree. We cannot take this taste, sweet taste by the lips. We can have that taste in very reckon mango. So, if we go to sea, endless sea, so deep, but a bird, very little tuntuni bird, cannot save her life, cannot save her life by drinking the water of sea. We cannot drink any water from sea. If the clouds, sun, take by his rays, taking the essence of water and the shape of clouds and he gives water, then it is so sweet in Ganges, in Jamuna, in so many rivers. And by that we can save our life. But we cannot drink a bund, a drop of water from ocean. So Vedas are like ocean of salty water. But Srimad Bhagavat is the fruit of all the Vedas. What has been told in Vedas all Upanishads, more than that is in Srimad Bhagavatam, because it is fruit. Who brought it? Shukadeva Gosha. From where? From Vyasadeva. Vyasadeva from where? From Brahma. Brahma from where? Narayan. From where Narayan? Shankarshan Ram. From where was Shankarshan Ram? From Krishna himself. So Srimad Bhagavat is Krishna. So, though it is a rush, like water, but it is a rush. No seed, no sparks, eh? No. No spark, chilka nahi, usme athli gutli nahi, usme koi hai ans nahi, nothing is there, only rush and rush. But it's never hurtta phukta nahi. Coming from Vrindavan grow so high is never yeah? broken. broken, never, and solid. And, but uh, Sukhdei Krishan took it in his mouth. So he became more and more sweet and he is giving to Parikshit Maharaj. So if he want to know all the Vedas, Upanishads and essence of all these things and to make your life successful, then you have to read Gita and Bhagavad. Gita is first book and whereas Srimad Bhagavatam is but graduation book, MA, PhD book. <laughs> Gita has told up to Sarnagati and Srimad Bhagavata has told 
श्रद्धा निष्ठा रुचि आसक्ति भाव प्रेम स्नेह मान प्रणय राग अनुराग भाव महाभाव मोर देन दिस सो अवर लाइफ अवर अवर गोल ऑफ द लाइफ एंड होल अवर ऑल दिस थिंग्स शुड बी द लव एंड अफेक्शन टुवर्ड्स कृष्ण लाइक ब्रजवासी and chaitanya mahaprabhu has come to give this thing braj prem and in the same time he distributed distributed krishna naam but his mole object was to give this message of pure affection and love like prajavasi so chaitanya mahaprabhu himself krishna took the beauty and the mood of srimati radhika and he He added Krishna mercy plus Ratha mercy. Wow, very powerful. And came to this world to give that same thing. I think that Swami Ji has come only to give this thing. Then I will describe and explain what was that. We should chant Hari name, but with mood of prem. If there is no prem, then. Doing archan or Thakur ji chanting name will not do so much. So we should read Shrimad Bhagavat Chaitanya Charita Amri in the association of very bona fide Vaishnava and Acharya and Guru and thus chanting Hari name, thinking that we are in Vrindavan Braj. Don't think that we are in America or anything. Thinking by me. If you are not following all these things, then we are self killer. So, next class, I will try to explain something. Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, and what he gave, and what is the Mad Bhagavatam, essence of the Mad Bhagavatam. I will try. Pralad Maharaj Charitra, Ajamil Charitra, Gopi Charitra, Damodar Lila, and all. Uh, one announcement for everyone who is present here: Shila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maharaj will be with us. He has just arrived today. He will be with us up until this coming Saturday. And uh, there are three more programs uh, scheduled for this week. The first one is on Monday uh, at the Anand Church of Self Realization. In Palo Alto, and that is in the evening time from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, on Tuesday evening, uh, it will be at the Finnish Brotherhood Hall on Chestnut Street in Berkeley, also 7 to 9 p.m. And on Wednesday, July 3rd, 7 to 9 p.m. at the Yoga Society at 2872 Folsom Street, San Francisco. So we have these flyers available on the back table with the addresses. And also, Shila Maharaj will be with us, uh, giving darshans in the morning time, where he will be residing. Uh, anyone who wishes to come to attend his pravachan in the morning time can see us uh, before you leave, and we will give you the address where he will be staying. Hare Krishna. There is also prasadam. We have brought uh, prasad for everyone to take. So, where is it at the back? It's right here through, this, through here, through these doors, exit doors. Okay, through these doors here. To the grass area. And also, we have some uh, books at, on a book table in the rear here. Uh, Shri Narayan Maharaj's books in English language. I think we have some Hindi books also. Hello. <laughs>